Hot Springs have always been at Sambali. For a long time we didn't know we had bush pink here, that's how skittish they were. There were always good wetlands here, even before the dams and stuff were built in the early 70s. They loved to feed in the sugar cane because it's nice and rich, and then they retreat to the wetlands for safety and roosting. As far as I know, we've only got one sounder. There's probably five or six animals one male will dominate the group. I've only ever seen them once during the day. They're omnivorous, they'll eat anything, mainly vegetation. They like digging up the arum lily bulb. They love cannas, which is an exotic that was introduced. But they don't do enough damage to actually get rid of the cannas. It's the sugar cane they like because it's sweet and it's quite thick and tasty. Cane farmers don't like them because they do quite a lot of damage. Here where there's dead trees, they go for the rhino beetles. They bore into the timber and those big grubs are quite a nice protein dump for the day. It takes quite a long time to mature, but when you get to a certain size, if you're a young male, you're going to get pushed out. They don't do like warthogs and go into burrows. Bush pig will find dense cover. They'll go in thorny bushes and creepers. That's their main protection from predators. They'll push down reeds in a reed bed and just lay up there and get a bit of sun. But it's always in a secluded spot. They tend to be territorial, but here the habitat that they prefer is quite limited. They may even be self-regulating because there's no threat to them really. Pythons would take young ones, but a python is going to be in danger of its own life with the parents you know, goring the python. With bush pig at Zimbali, they know humans, they don't see us as being dangerous, and they stay away really, they are nervous of us. Like any pig, they've got a low center of gravity, and those tusks are quite severe. The similarities between bush pig and warthog one lives in the bushveld, and the other one lives in forested and wetland conditions. Warthog will re dig porcupine and hyena holes. Bush pig will go to wetlands because when you walk through water, you can't be tracked. It's part of their strategy of getting away from us. Like any wild animal, they just show it respect and don't interfere with it. It's the thick-tailed bush baby or thick-tailed galago. They're common here, that's the nice thing. Bush babies go into hollows mainly and they hide in a tangle but they will get caught by predators like ground eagles. A python would take them but pythons don't like to climb, they're a terrestrial species or live in water. I reckon we've got between 50 and 100. They're everywhere in this forested area. They talk to each other, that's part of the whole territorial thing. We get one male will defend an area. They tend to be in family groups. They love strelitzias. They like the nectar and the pollen from the flowers. It's sweet and it's got quite a lot of nutrients in it. They like gum. And many of our trees produce gum. With their lower jaw, they'll chisel out the gum. Something residents can do is actually just sit in the mark where the calls are coming from and then go to that spot in the same evening and listen. They're really quite pretty. 